24 volts DC linear actuator, connect the circuit. We start to enter the pairing. First press the receiver's learning button 8 times. Perform code clearing. The indicator light flashes and then goes out. Represents the completion of code clearing. After clearing the code, all previously paired remote controls are invalid. Need to repair. Momentary mode. Click the receiver's button once. Observe that the indicator light goes out. Press the first button of the remote control to be matched. After the indicator light flashes and goes out, press the second button of the remote control. Pairing successful. Press and hold to turn and release to stop. Same remote control. If we need to change the mode, then press the receiver button 8 times to clear the code. Toggle mode. Click the receiver's button twice, observe that the indicator light goes out. Press the first button of the remote control to be matched. After the indicator light flashes and goes out, press the second button of the remote control. Pairing successful. Press the A key. Push rod moves to the right. Press the A button again to stop. Press the B key. Push rod moves to the left. Press the B key again. Stop. Note that after pressing the A key here, you need to press the A key again to stop correctly. You cannot wait until the motor turns to the end or press the B button directly. Latched mode requires a 3 button or 4 button remote control. Click the receiver's button 3 times. Observe that the indicator light goes out. Press the button of the remote control that needs to be matched. After the indicator light flashes and goes out, press the second button on the remote control that needs to be paired. Pairing successful. Press the paired button. Push rod movement. Press an unpaired button on the remote control. Putter stops. When matching different remote controls, no need to press the receiver's button 8 times to reset receiver. Otherwise, the paired remote control will be deleted. The following is the process of pairing and interlocking the 4-button remote control. Note that a remote control will only match two buttons. The extra ones will not be paired. This common power supply wiring method can control DC motors in the 5-50V range. The two wires of the motor are connected to terminals 5 and 2 respectively. The positive pole of the DC power supply is connected to the VIN, 6, and 3 interfaces respectively. The negative pole of the DC power supply is connected to GND, 4, and 1 interfaces. The following is a demonstration of controlling DC lights with a remote control. The shared power supply is connected to the DC lamp circuit to control 5-50V DC lamps. The positive poles of the two lamps are connected to terminals 5 and 2 respectively. The negative poles of the two lamps are connected to the negative pole of the DC power supply. The positive pole of the DC power supply is connected to ports 6 and 3 respectively. Below is a demonstration of controlling AC light bulbs with a remote control.
Connect the external AC power supply to the AC light circuit to control the AC light. The live wires of the two lamps are connected to interfaces 5 and 2 of the terminal respectively. The neutral wires of the two lamps are connected to the neutral wire of the external AC power supply. The live wires of the external AC power supply are connected to interfaces 6 and 3 respectively. The positive pole of the DC power supply is connected to VIN and the negative pole is connected to GND to power the controller. Below is a demonstration of controlling an AC light bulb with a remote control.